My name is Mary Antonia Lombardi, also known as Mal, uh, and I am a painter, an artist, but mainly a painter. Um, because I love it, and it's kind of like my therapy. It uh, shuts my brain off, and I forget about the outside world and just kind of zone into it. I, it's probably about 1993 I'd started the first painting. Um, I was almost 30. I always wanted to paint, but for some weird reason I just never thought I could. And um, I was in school for graphic design. And everything was done on the computer, and I wasn't feeling it. So uh, I decided to teach myself how to paint. Um, my daughter is a lot of inspiration for me. Um, she has a disability, and uh, ever since she was born, I just I felt like uh, I should just do what I want to do. Because I had stopped painting for a while. I stopped painting for about 10 years. And um, she just brings out I see her struggles, and she accomplishes so many things. And I feel like, you know, I should do what I want to do. And sometimes I paint her difficulties, whether it's apparent to the viewer or not. Um, but she, she's just a big inspiration. As a kid, I always had my nose in an art book. I loved looking at paintings. Um, especially Picasso paintings. But I always thought that um, to be an artist, to be a painter, and I don't know where I ever got this concept from, but I always thought that that was for like a select chosen few, you know, that you had to be a specific kind of person to be an artist. Like I held them in such high regard, like a god almost, you know. Um, but I always, always looked at art books and just was fascinated by the images that I saw. Um, well, uh, one of the new pieces that I just had in my show, um, I tried kind of a different approach. Usually I'll start with an idea and um, loosely sketch it out on the canvas. Um, but I did a piece called In Perfect Time um, and I just put on some Thelonious Monk and just started with a paintbrush um, to paint a bunch of musicians. Uh, had no idea where the painting was going to go, um, but it was inspired by the music I was listening to. And also, um, my other job as a waitress, I get to work with a lot of great musicians, so uh, they're always inspiring to me. My father was a musician um, and he always exposed me and my siblings to like all different kinds of music. So I grew up with a love of all different types of music. Different musicians and their type of work is very inspiring. You know, it was blues, jazz, punk rock, whatever it may be, you know. Yeah, I do. I uh, think that um, projects with children um, are especially important. Um, I know, you know, they take away a lot of arts are the first thing to be taken away in the schools, but uh, I think it is important for kids to, you know, express themselves. And it's. Uh, you know, we can't just have academics. You know, you need the creative mind, too. <laughs> Sorry for laughing. Uh, someone in my last show described um, a lot of grief in my paintings, which um, I kind of agree with, but I think um, in a lot of my pieces, it's it's mixed. It's some grief, uh, 
some happiness, some anxiety, uh, tension, but but not all necessary necessarily like in a bad way, you know, uh, just the mind trying to work things out. I do. <laughs> um, I try to always look at life um, in a positive way. I think I'm a very fortunate person. I'm always thankful for everything that I have. And again, getting back to my daughter, she made me become a more positive person. To paint. <laughs> I want to keep on painting. I love it. It's just something I have to do, something I feel I have to do. And I also want to start um, making sculptures. I want, I have plans. I have a big garden in front of my house and I want to put some metal sculptures in with all the flowers that are in there. So hopefully that'll work. Out.